Bonjour. Welcome to Pierre Lachaise. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. So Pierre Lachaise Cemetery is the largest cemetery in Paris, France at 44 hectares or 110 acres with more than 3.5 million visitors annually. It is the most visited um, cemetery in the world. So Pierre Lachaise is still an operating cemetery and accepting new burials. However, the rules to, the, uh, to be buried here in Paris are rather strict. People may be buried in one of these cemeteries if they die in the French capital city or if they lived there. Being buried in Pierre Lachaise is even more difficult nowadays as there is a waiting list. Uh, the grave sites of Pierre Lachaise range from a simple headstone to towering monuments. So the cemetery manages to squeeze an increasing number of bodies um, into kind of small already used and crowded spaces and one way it does this is by combining the remains of multiple family members in the same grave. Um, at Pierre Le Chase, it's not uncommon to reopen a grave after a body has decomposed and inter another coffin. Um, some of the family mausoleums actually um, contain dozens of bodies, often in several uh, separate um, kind of areas. So the cemetery actually opened um, in 1804, I believe, and it takes its name from the confessor, Louis Pierre Francois de la Chase. So, obviously, there's numerous um, famous people, singers, actresses. Actors. Politicians. So with that little bit of history. I think we need to uh, explore. This is a dream come true guys. Actually I have no idea where to go. But um, let's see what we can find. I've just noticed this one. It's like a, a mosaic. With little tiles, rows. I believe there's some numerals there. Maybe Roman numerals and a skull. It reminds me kind of like the, the sugar skulls. It says Tempus Vuji and uh, I don't speak French guys so my pronunciation 
will not be great. But uh, we will give it a try. Wow, it's just unbelievable. Where to go, guys? Where to go? So these are all these mausoleums I spoke about, and there may well be dozens of family members buried in these. And it is still open for people to be buried. I'm not sure where they're, you know, where they're going to find the space, but it is very compact. And I do hope to find some notable graves along our way. The maps, um, there's a map as you enter and it's basically the name and the number. This place as well, like the other cemeteries we visited in Paris are in divisions and avenues, but it still makes it really, really hard to find people and Grey Visitations is here and he's gone to find a very very famous man possibly the most visited grave here in Pierre Le Chase This is a place to come if you love old cemeteries, finding out the history. This is definitely the place to come, most visited cemetery in Europe. And I can understand why, of course, look at this. every inch covered. And we have just started. We have to check this out. Seems to have lost the top of his sword. A la memoir. 
Dantol, Dantole de la Force. Family Baron Forbes Escandon inside the altar, some beautiful stained glass. Beautiful angel. A lot of damage to this one. It's like the altar has been pulled out of it. We had some rain last night, a little bit this morning. Look at the dried flowers in there. Family, their bane. Joseph Noel, their bane. 1914. There was also a burial here in 2002, Dominic. 1983, Andre, 2002. So I presume the bodies are, are just under there. Oh, look at this one. Della family, many air. Uh, lot of euros in that building. Pretty amazing. And if I turn around, 
we have this one. Marcel Pratt, Baron B. de Juvenel, 1971. And we have Ronald de Juvenel, 1946. And we actually have the likeness here of Ronald. A Roland, excuse me, Roland. He was born in 1931 and only, and he passed away the 2nd of the 5th, 1946. So, probably only 15 years of age. 14 or 15 there. looks like under that it says puzzle de burco quite hard to read that Famille Blanc, another huge mausoleum. Right, I think I'll go up the steps. Um, gosh, look at that one, it's fallen apart. Have it taped off there. And you can just see just how deep it goes down. See that big hole there? So that is where the bodies would be down there. really far down another one here all held together that too goes way down far Right, I think what I need to do is um, get up these steps, see if I can get the map out and figure out where to go next. Just part of this one. Very haunting image. It's a 
bridesmaids like a nun but her face is completely hidden with a veil. There is some writing up there but maybe you can read that. I think there's a tour actually just up ahead and this is uh, the chapel Le Chapelle so it might be a good place for me to stop get some water um, get my bearings wow I think that's Mary holding our Lord. Del Duca, Sino, 1967, it's Simone, 2004. In his hand, you can see he's holding a tiny little man. Unfortunately, I don't know who this is, I can't read the inscription. We have a lady's face there at the bottom. That is gorgeous. And as I turn around, look at this guys. So I've just noticed this one. Looks like maybe Alan Bash Bashung. 
1947 to 2009. I've just looked it up on the maps. I cannot find any information on him, but obviously he's very well known here in France. Lots of lipstick marks all over, hearts, kisses. Tante May wrote at the bottom. So guys, if you know, let me know. Now I think this is the, if I have worked this out right, this is the Workers Memorial. God, look at this one. Gosh, look at this. There is a bust up there. Not sure who this is. Gaspard Mong. And you have this iron gate. And another door. One, two, three other doors, possibly where the bodies are. It's kind of creepy looking to me. This one is something similar. Le Roy Helgas. The map is actually proving quite hard to understand um, or figure out. La Renaissance Public. Maybe this is not the workers' memorial. see her hand is reaching up into the mausoleum of the family Raspal, Raspail. She's completely covered. You can't see her face. Kind of a haunting and sad image. Is where the, the coffins are placed. It's not in great condition at all. Can't even really make out names. Must be very old. See, the gates are literally barely. Standing. Lovely little walkway up there. Mm. 
This one has all the names on the outside as well. Very bad repair as well, unfortunately. 1822, Martine, just 22 years of age. I think 1822 is the earliest internment there. I love that, all the moss on it, look at that. This is the 18th division. A very modern looking monument there. I like this one. Another one here, it looks brand new. Gosh, look overhead. Right up there. Maybe that's where I need to go. Wow. I took a walk up the steps. Had to check this out. Amazing. That's what we were looking up at a few moments ago. pyramid here oh 
Au General. That is huge. And just here, this is amazing. Look at that. It's like a full building like. I can't even show you, it's so huge. This one actually has a glass door. And it is really, really nice in here. Probably just going to show my reflection now. Seems to be like a real, or is it a, a door kind of, I think it is. Hard to make it out. It's fantastic. But I just want to try and get as much of it as possible to show you. Little door there, not sure what that is. Maybe down into the vault. Oh wow, look in here guys. I can't really show you, but just I'll have to tell you that it goes so far down. You just can't see that. But I can't actually show you at all, unfortunately. But it does actually go way down underground. The phone seems to be um, just adjusting to the cobwebs. Wow. Imagine going down there and getting a glimpse of what's down there. But, uh, this is the side of this huge memorial. Right, I've just noticed this one. To me it's almost like a a marquee or a tent. I think it's a uh, family Ruel. That is amazing. And just here we have a gentleman, Gabriel Robinet, 1887. Doctor. Um, the rest of the writing is actually quite faded. And we're in the shade, it's actually boiling. This one is in a, a bad way. Gosh, we still have old flowers in here. Look at that. Beautiful. I think I've gotten lost several times, um, but it has brought me to this beautiful little statue of a little girl. She's 
It's actually sitting on a, an anchor. Look at her eyes. Can't read anything on it, unfortunately. Marie, I think her name is. Where can you see that? M -R, R I E. Well, there is something very faint there. It does look like Marie. 1881. Oh, yeah, look at here. If you look at the top of the tombstone where the moss has grown, it does look like Marie. Is it 1831? 1839, is it? It's just here on the tombstone. 1931. Yeah. And of course, Grave Visitations has just spotted this one. This is gorgeous. Little we have boy. a little girl now, we have a little boy. Ah. Oh Lord, look at that. And he's just there with his feet dangling and his face in his hands. It looks like is it Pierre? Pearl. P E R L E. Ellie or I E? Ellie. Is it? Cronea. Uh, 1936 to 1999. And then on the other side we have Claude, 1932 to 2013. But what a gorgeous little boy. He's so cute. There's a beautiful one behind that there as well, a woman as well. We do have kind of newer stones that did explain that um, in the video as well that uh, new burials are continuing. This looks like 16 years old. 16, yeah, 19, 1984 to 2000. Is it Aureli Perdomo? Beautiful little girl. So rest in peace. Right. We have got to try and find our way back down. Somewhere down there. So we're going to try and do that. Another beautiful memorial here. Look at the colour of her. She stands out. <laughs>